folks, good afternoon, welcome back. I'm Louis, also known as Lurg, non-league to Premier League. My oh my, we may not even be here in January. Uh, no easy games in the Championship, we knew this coming into the job. But I expected Brentford to, to really push on. We made some nice signings, we've done some good business. And to be fair, we've got what I would consider one of the strongest teams in the Championship, even though we was kind of... Where, where were we? We was predicted to finish, I believe, 7th, 8th, uh, if we go to the season preview. ninth. so predicted to finish in ninth. We are currently sat in 14th position. We are, we've got a game in hand, so obviously we can go up to 24 points today, which puts us only two points outside the playoff places if we win. However... It's been a struggle, guys. It really has. And when I say it's been a struggle, we've been smashing teams. Like, the games haven't really been close. We've been in really, really good form. But so wasteful with the opportunities that we're, like, making. It's ridiculous. You was last with us then for Reading, which was an absolute bore draw. We then went to Ipswich and lost. Look at the stats. 19 shots on goal, only 5 on target. 64% possession, very much so the better side. If you have a look at the average ratings, our average ratings, bar their defence, are pretty much better than theirs. It was just a diabolical, diabolical game. We then lose to Crystal Palace, 4-2. Very entertaining game for the neutrals. For us, terrible result. I mean, <laughs> believe it or not, we was 2-0 up in that game. 2-0 up. and I mean, possession again. High possession percentage, a lot more shots on goal. I mean, they only actually managed to have six shots on target. Four of them went in. Very, Not very good for us. So, I wasn't happy. We called a team meeting in to say, come on, boys, don't let your heads drop. You know, we'll turn the form around. Don't worry. We got this. We then, against Nottingham Forest, absolutely demolish them. Still letting three goals. Alua Traore, though, must be said... The goals that this lad scored, absolutely sensational. So we're going to show you a couple of them. Wouldn't normally go through the goals in a game, but he scored a hat-trick of absolutely just amazing goals. So you hear, see here, Chelly, Sevilla Libra, Traore from there, bang, top bins, left-hand side. Beautiful. I believe this was his other goal. Second goal of the game. Very, very similar fashion. Come on, game. Please work. Hello. Here we go. Villa Libra on the left-hand side. I mean, it's obviously not where you want your striker. Crosses it in. Traore is there. Volleys it. Oh, my word. Top bins to the right-hand side. Beautiful. Then finish the game off. 84 minutes. With a strike. Very, very similar. De Silva gets the ball. Passes it back. Traore, one touch. Back to Chelly. First time shot right in the corner again. I mean, beautiful, beautiful finishing. However, this man, I mean, he's not strong enough to get into our first team at the moment. If we just have a look at him a little bit closely, a little bit closer. His finishing is nine. His composure is nine. Long shots four. Realistically, shouldn't really be banging in them kind of goals. I mean, he just shouldn't. I'm happy it gave us a very, very good result, but shocking. We then had a very nice win over Bristol City, 3-0. Very, very kind of... I mean, we were fantastic. Again, though, look at the, tar the, the shots and the shots on target ratio. Very, very, very wasteful. I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking that I maybe need to put something on to stop them from shooting from range because it seems to be we're working the ball into the, the final third of the pitch and then either really badly squandering chances in one-on-ones where they're going closer to the corner flag than the goal or we're just shooting from range and obviously you're not going to score a lot of goals doing that. And then this game was so upsetting at home. Absolutely demolished. Middlesbrough and I do mean we demolished them from start to finish much much better team lots and lots of chances same old story 25 shots on goal only 8 on target 65% possession we was better than them in every single department 
and we just couldn't get a result. I mean, they literally have done a big smash and grab there. But what can we do? So, our board are not overly happy at the moment. Not Club Info, it's Club Vision that we want. We're on a C+. Plus. Um, we're disappointing them in the league. We've already failed our Carabao Cup, by the way. Um, that was something that I wasn't too worried about. I thought the board might let it slide, but... Turns out they did want, they wanted some results in that competition, but it's not a competition I've ever been interested in, unless obviously you make it through to the final. So today, we're at home, we're against Luton. I mean, Luton are very much in the bottom half of the table. I think they're potentially even last at the minute. They're 23rd. So very much a game that we should be winning. And it's a game that realistically now, because it's our game in hand, we need to be winning. So, I mean, I just... I don't know what to do, folks. I mean, we're, we're struggling at the moment purely because the schedule has been so hectic. But that's not an excuse because we're not the only team that's got that schedule to, to work with. You know, everybody's working on the same thing. If you look at our average ratings, look, the, the, team is play, the team's playing superb. In terms of how they're playing, can't fault them. In terms of actually the finishing, like the final product, it's just shocking. So we're going to go with our regular 11 today then. Balcom in goal. Emery, Pinnock, Rakicic and Calavera at the back. Rakicic is only in actually because Janssen was suspended. So we're going to bring Janssen back in. And Rakic is going to go on the bench for Ravanelli. Because he can play on that right hand side as well. So we've got cover now all across the back at the centre. We've got Cole... And Traore in the middle, which is a really nice partnership. Then we've got Watkins, Slattery, Gomez and Villalibra up front. We need a result today, guys. So I need you to send me all your energy, smash that like button and let's get into it. So, that's the team we're going with. We are slightly pushing the boundaries with our fitness. Could have maybe rotated. Don't want to rotate because honestly, we... At the, we absolutely need to win this game. Assertively say, uh, if we play our game, you'll win. I really wanted to say I expect to win from you today, but I didn't see that option there. Tunnel interviews. I hate these. Your team are among the possession leaders. I think we've got enough about us to gain an edge. Ollie Watkins, useful versatility. He makes us stronger. Pontus Janssen's character. Yes. Right, so hopefully we get a little bit of a boost out of that. First height line. Calvera does hit it long. Villa Libra can't get the header, but Slattery does pick up the loose ball. Brings it forward now. He hasn't got many options behind him. And that is nothing. Bradley makes the tackle. Spreads it out. Calvera's there. To Cole. Calvera. Back to Janssen. Janssen looks for it out wide to Henry. Or Henry, should I say, really. It's not Armory. He's not Thierry, is he? He's no Thierry. Watkins puts pressure on. Can't get anything out of it. Ball's only cleared as far as Calavera, though. Looking very good in possession. Out to Gomez. Gomez goes past his man beautifully. Oh, and Henry. 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 <laughs> Henry at the back post there. Bit of a shabby goal, has to be said. But... At the moment, beggars can't be choosers and we will take any which one that goes in. Gomez with a lovely ball. Galloway tries to clear it. Emery's there first. And he just tidy finish on his left foot. That's very well played. And we need this, boys and girls. We need the three points, as you can see. Does move us straight back up into 10th place. Just two points outside that playoff places. And we've got a much better goal difference than most of the teams that we're trying to chase. So... If our guys can actually not drop their heads, then we'll be in a good position. Um, I did expect us, to be honest, to be pushing for the automatic promotion, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen now. Emery, Slattery knocks it long. Villa La Libra's there. Oh, left-footed finish. Can't get it past the keeper. McGillway at the first time got a great save. Unfortunately, though, he does get to the rebound first, and that is a tidy finish. Again. Not clinical, but we'll take it. I mean, that's a brilliant save for the first one-on-one -on -one defender there. Should really be reacting better. And McGilvray there, he's got to be upset with his centre-back. He really has. 
But we're 2-0 up inside 20 minutes and we're looking good. Pearson, Galloway now. Potts brings the ball forward. Long ball over the top. Does get to Roberts, who's not being overly closed down. Balakom does get a hand to it. And Luton with the corner now. We're surely not going to see a collapse against Luton. We, this this would be terrible. Eugenia with the corner. Traore does get it away. Potts picks it back up. Plays it out. Slattery picks it up though. Calavera launches the ball long. There's nobody there. Calavera then. Slattery picks it. Calavera's got it again. He's got Gomez inside of him. Gomez has got options as well. Decides to go for Ollie Watkins. Does find him. Tucks inside his man. And Ollie Watkins, you have got to do better there, sunshine. And then just kind of gives up on the ball. He's got the ball still in the box. And gives up on it. But that was such a great chance. And to not take that. I mean, that is... He's a player that I was really excited to work with this season, honestly, with how he's been playing actually in the championship for the past couple of seasons. But he's been absolutely awful at times for us. And again, not overly impressive today. We've got a few players then who are complacent. I'm not happy with that. Don't get complacent. Things can turn around very quickly in football. Tell them not to get complacent. And they still come out of the dressing room complacent. Thinking that the job's done. The job's not done. We've got 45 minutes of football left. Boys, don't do it to me. You're going to tell the lads to get creative. Does absolutely nothing for them. There's no highlights so far in the second half. As the clock is just ticking down and ticking down and ticking down. Right. We're going to make some changes. I don't know if I showed... Did I, did I mention that we brought Jamie Vardy in? I don't know, honestly, no. Got me second guessing myself. Slasher is going to come off. Should we give Kane a game? No, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to bring Chelly on. And we're going to bring Gomez inside. And we're going to put him on an attacking midfielder role where he's more comfortable. And Traore is playing a 6.8. He's a little bit complacent, though. So we're going to bring in Josta Silva here. And we're also going to make him a deep-lying playmaker. See if we can't get some things going in midfield. Don't normally like making all three changes, but not happy with players not playing properly, like to their potential here. I am just going to drop a little bit of praise on the boys, see if they can't make something happen. We've had no highlights in this second half whatsoever. Absolutely fantastic first half. Second half, we've done bugger all. Strong win, 2-0. Can't complain. We were very, very good at time. I mean, 70% possession, 14 shots on goal. Again, 5 on target. This is where it's just bloody ridiculous. So that is a nice win, boys and girls. Obviously, that's going to move us up. I, I'm going to tell them that I'm pleased, even though we're very wasteful. So we're now in 10th. Only two points outside the playoffs. So we're not that far behind where we need to be. I don't think the board can be too upset. But we need to keep winning. And at the moment... We kind of win, win, lose, lose, or win, draw, lose, win, draw, lose. Um, we need a bit more consistency. We're probably not as consistent as we should be because I'm having to rotate the squad fairly often, um, just purely because of the 2022 World Cup. But as I said earlier, everybody else is in the same situation, so it's no excuse Norwich really running away with the league at the minute. Sheffield United are just behind them. Huddersfield, shockingly, just there as well. So. We've got some ground to make up, folks. We really have, but I'm confident in our ability to do so. That's all from me. Thank you very much for the continued support on the channel. Really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy that, please do drop a like. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I am uploading every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. That's all from me. Much love. Thank you very much, folks.